Later today, Ivan Cantu is set to be executed by lethal injection for killing his cousin and his cousin's fiance outside Dallas more than two decades ago. A jury found him guilty, though Cantu, now 50, has always said he didn't do it. Face value, when you, when you look at all the evidence, it, it, it was an open and shut case. You've always maintained your innocence? Absolutely, from day one. Give me a new trial with, with the team and with the attorney that I've got today, but I want them to know, hey, you know, stop the madness. Since his conviction, new evidence has come to light. A key witness, the brother of Cantu's ex-girlfriend, who initially claimed Cantu confessed, recanted his testimony in 2022. Cantu also claims new information corroborates his story that his cousin, a known drug dealer, was killed by rival dealers. But a Texas court yesterday denied Cantu a stay of execution. I believe that the only reason that things are being dragged out in this courtroom, in this courthouse, is they're running out the clock on an innocent man and do not want to hear his newly discovered evidence in an evidentiary hearing. At least three jurors who sent him to death row have now pushed to halt the execution. Even celebrities, including Martin Sheen and Kim Kardashian, have tried to rally support for him. But the district attorney insists he is guilty, saying, my belief is anchored in the undeniable evidence presented at trial, reinforced by over two decades of exhaustive state and federal appeals post-conviction. More than 140,000 people have signed a petition to stop the execution, which is scheduled for 6 o'clock tonight. But only Texas Governor Greg Abbott has the power to grant a reprieve. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.